title of this video Ending Future Sexual Repulsions. You're hearing it from someone who knows all about it. I'm going to give you a visual, tell me what you think. Imagine this is in space, or imagine it's in a dark place, for instance, just dark, I'm not even referring to a house, not referring to space or anything, or, I don't know like space, but, this is what our flesh does, and I'm a more of a head-on visual learner. We have our emotions combined with the flesh, and then on the side of that, imagine the, your flesh and addiction are in one basically the same way with your flesh, but your addiction is obviously involved in the flesh. And then on the side of that, it's almost like a magnet field in a way. You have all these things, these clusters floating, and they're floating, and they're floating, and they're on the side. So your flesh is right here with your addiction inside and on the side so it could be like in space or whatever floating and this is your addictions on the side it could be drugs it could be porn it could be anything it could be caffeine sugar anything and basically what happens is our emotions tied in with the flesh and the addiction gets wound up, it starts shaking, it, it's like a motor basically, it gets wound up, wound up, wound up, it starts shaking, and then it jolts, and then eventually it like, it comes up, and it repulses, and brings in like a magnet, our addiction, so our, our addiction hits, or whatever our addiction lights hits, brings in and hits, so the addiction draws in what we like, that we're addicted to, it hits it, and it bounces off of it, bounces off of it, bounces off of it, and it keeps doing that. And so what you want to do, I don't know if you've ever tried this before, you create a field, a blocker between what's over here is your addiction. Remember your flesh. The addiction basically is in the flesh, but whatever you're addicted to is floating over here, the clusters, the cluster of addiction particles or whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> and in the middle of that you can create the wall. How do you create this wall? How does the wall develop? How do you create the wall? How does the wall develop? You have to starve it out. You have to starve out the addiction. Starve out the, the demons, as you call them, whatever you want to call them. Start to get your body to listen to you as in we gotta change the way we go about fasting. Do this by fasting. You can start by your regular meals or whatever you do, your drinks, your sugars. You take it, you eat normal, you drink normal, and then each time you go after your meal, whatever you normally have in your diet, you eat it, but each time you eat less of it, and then less, and then less. And you go down to a point where you're comfortable, you're comfortable, um, I guess that per se. But then you can switch over to like, um, until like you're at the comfortable level. You can switch over to like keto or like a, just regular drinking water or you can, uh, regular drinking water or you can switch over to just chicken broth. Or just like, eat something, eat it in small dosages and dosages and dosages until eventually, like I guess down until you get down, you can supplement it with water or whatever, energy bar or whatever. And then basically you're tricking your brain in your mind that you're eating, but you're just not eating the same amount. So you add it by your same diet, you attack it, you eat it, you drink it. But each time you eat less, and then you eat less, so it's like you're going down the ladder and ladder. So basically with that, you're creating a force field between that. So 
Every time this is shaking, gets repulsive, it can't draw in your addictions over here like a magnet to hit and rebound. And rebound and start shaking and shaking and shaking until eventually you have to have it. Until it's uncontrollable. It's not going to be like that because our walls here are so down. So it won't, 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 won't. Sounds like that. And it won't, won't, won't. And then it finally just kills it and drops it. So once you get down to that comfortable state, supplement it out with water, like maybe like a protein bar or something. But mainly water, you want to do water. But that don't always help. Switch over to a you can get down to like, do it, supplement it out. The rest of your little small or whatever you have with, I like to blend in chicken stock with like some different vanillas, like chicken broth, drink a little bit of that and some extra seasonings or flavor with that until eventually maybe you can come off of that and just have just like water or something. And then you're able to fast better and maybe if you can handle it, you can eventually get that all the way down until you can finally, your body's tricked where you're not eating, you're eating less and eventually you're not eating. And then one day, well, you're eating less and eventually you decide to trick your body, think you're like, I guess you eat or something, but you, uh, you only get a taste of the food, and eventually you just don't eat it at all. So you brought it all the way down to the ladder. You tricked your body, you tricked your stomach, which your stomach could be referred to as your second brain, for food. And then basically you're cut off and you're fully fasting, you're not eating. You drink a little bit of water, but you're just, you're just not eating. And then, what you didn't think you could do before, you're doing. So you tricked your stomach, you, which is also like your second brain for food, because it consumes the food that tells you when you're hungry. So basically, you're not eating at all. Makes sense. That's what I thought to do. I just tricked my body, tricked my stomach with the brain and whatever. So basically, you draw on a force field between your addiction. So there's no, there's no cross field. There's no hitting. There's no rebound. There's no nothing. That there's no magnet to bring in your, uh, to bring in the addiction to whatever your, whatever the addiction may be. I don't know, try that and see if it works. It, it, it helped me. I want to go back to doing that, so. Stuff, some stuff out of my life I need to get rid of, so. But basically what I want to refer to as the, uh, stopping refu future sexual repulsions, the repulsion without that having that force field there uh, it's not like this addiction over here you're not getting it's not irritating up the addiction force field to like draw in the addiction you've drawn that line there so it's hitting the line which it goes won't 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 more and it kills it that's what I have to go back refer to is like because I have a problem with like lust and everything so I'm, I'm, I'm having to put Holy Spirit use this to put it in its place once and for all. Try this with no matter what addiction you have and see what, see if there's any sort of progress. And it did help me. I gotta go back to it and get kind of lazy with it. But see if this helps. See what happens. God bless.